player A passes the ball on the long short counter movement of B, who is approaching in front of the pole. B, with one touch, returns the ball to teammate A with a wall pass. A passes the ball horizontally toward C, who loses their marker in front of the pole. C passes the ball diagonally toward D. D passes the ball toward the other diamond for E. E passes the ball on the long short counter movement of F, who is approaching in front of the post. F, with one touch, returns the ball to teammate E with a wall pass. E passes the ball horizontally to G, who loses their marker in front of the post. G passes the ball diagonally toward H. H ends the circuit, moving the ball toward I, who is on the starting post, to start again with the sequence. The exercise is repeated in the same manner for the entire duration of the series. At the end of each series, change the starting point and consequently the direction of rotation of the transmission sequence. Correct change of players' positions, black arrows in the picture. A goes in place of B. B goes in place of C. C goes in place of D. D goes in place of E. East goes in place of F. F goes in place of G. G goes in place of H. H goes in place of I. Coaching points. Check the correct execution of technical gestures and in particular, intensity and quality of passing, which should be as high as possible. Give priority to the intensity of the pass and then stimulate accuracy. Oriented control should be directed toward the teammate to whom the next pass will be made. Check the ability to absorb the pass by stimulating the leap of the supporting foot and correct body posture for control. Check the correct execution of movements. The timing of counter movement. The rotations. 